At some point in your life, you felt it. The sudden ripple across your skin when you step into cold air, hear a powerful song, or sense fear creeping up your spine. Tiny bumps rise across your arms, your neck tightens, and for a moment, your body reacts before your mind catches up. We call them goosebumps, and while they may seem trivial or even pointless today, they are actually the echoes of an ancient survival system still running quietly inside us. So, why do we have goosebumps? Let's dive right into it, right here on History of Simple Things. Goosebumps, medically known as piloerection, occur when tiny muscles at the base of each hair follicle contract. These muscles, called erector pili, pull the hair upright, creating that bumpy texture on the skin. The reaction is automatic and controlled by the autonomic nervous system, the same system that regulates heart rate, breathing, and digestion. In other words, you don't choose to get goosebumps. Your body decides for you, instantly and instinctively. But why would humans need such a reaction in the first place? To understand that, we have to rewind millions of years, long before clothes, central heating, or modern comfort. Our ancestors were far hairier than we are today, and in those bodies, goosebumps served two very real survival purposes, warmth and intimidation. When a furry animal is cold, raised hair traps air close to the skin, creating insulation. Think of a cat fluffing up in winter. Goosebumps did the same for early humans. By lifting body hair, the body could reduce heat loss and maintain warmth in colder environments. While modern humans no longer have enough body hair for this to make a meaningful difference, the biological mechanism never disappeared. Evolution tends to remove features only when they are harmful, not merely when they become unnecessary. The second purpose was even more dramatic. When animals feel threatened, raised fur makes them appear larger and more intimidating to predators or rivals. This response can be seen in dogs, cats, and even birds today. Early humans shared this reflex. When fear struck, goosebumps helped create a visual signal of strength and readiness. Although standing hair no longer makes us look more dangerous, your nervous system still reacts as if it might. This explains why goosebumps appear not only in the cold, but also during moments of fear, stress, or excitement. A sudden loud noise, a near accident, or even walking alone at night can trigger them. In these moments, your body is preparing for a potential threat, activating what is commonly known as the fight-or-flight response. Goosebumps are part of that rapid chain reaction, alongside increased heart rate, heightened senses, and muscle tension. What's fascinating is that goosebumps aren't only tied to fear or cold. They also appear during emotional experiences, listening to a powerful piece of music, watching an emotional film, or hearing a moving story. These are called aesthetic chills, and they reveal something profound about how deeply emotion and biology are connected. Studies have shown that emotional goosebumps are linked to the brain's reward system, particularly the release of dopamine. When something deeply resonates with us, whether it's a song, a speech, or a moment of awe, our brain responds as if it's experiencing something meaningful and important. Goosebumps become a physical signature of emotional intensity, marking moments that move us beyond words. Not everyone experiences emotional goosebumps the same way. Research suggests they're more common in people who are emotionally sensitive, open, or empathetic, reflecting differences in how brains process meaning. They can also be socially contagious, 
seeing someone else react emotionally can trigger goosebumps in us through empathy and mirror neurons, turning them into a silent shared signal of fear, awe, or connection. From a medical perspective, goosebumps are usually harmless. However, in rare cases, excessive or unexplained goosebumps can be linked to neurological conditions or hormonal imbalances. Certain drugs, fever, or adrenaline surges can also intensify the reaction. But for the vast majority of people, goosebumps are simply a sign that the nervous system is working exactly as it should. What makes goosebumps particularly interesting is that they are one of the few visible reminders of our evolutionary past that we experience regularly. Unlike the appendix or wisdom teeth, goosebumps aren't hidden inside the body. They appear right on the skin, reminding us that beneath our modern lives, ancient instincts are still active. This idea that our bodies carry outdated but functional systems challenges how we think about progress. Evolution doesn't redesign organisms from scratch. It builds on what already exists. Goosebumps are not a mistake or a flaw. They're a leftover tool that once mattered deeply and still connects us to who we used to be. In fact, Scientists have discovered that the same stem cells involved in goosebumps also play a role in hair growth and skin regeneration. This means that what began as a simple reflex may still contribute to skin health and repair, revealing that even seemingly obsolete features can have hidden benefits. It's a reminder that evolution often repurposes old systems rather than discarding them entirely. So the next time you feel that familiar ripple across your skin, remember that it's more than just a response to cold air. It's your body reacting to the world the same way it did thousands of generations ago, preparing, protecting, and connecting. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.